This is the largest map I've ever made. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we have 10 kingdoms all across this map, and we're gonna give them a thousand years before we send them all to war. So for the most part, we're just gonna kind of uh, fast forward through all the years, um, maybe stopping every couple hundred just to kind of see um, how the contenders are doing, because I'm sure some of them are gonna develop a lot better than others, and that'll give them a better chance uh, when the actual war starts. So our 10 contenders are Obi-Wan Kenobi, Monkey D. Luffy, Sonic the Hedgehog, Squidward, Dan NG, Finn and Jake, Shrek, Jack Sparrow, Zuko, and Homer Simpson. So first off, for anyone that doesn't know how to do this, um, I'm gonna enable uh, Sonic Speed. Uh, so to do that, you just go into Settings, you spam this little burger icon until this little guy pops up, and then you can enable Sonic Speed. And I'm also going to enable Show a Amount Near Army so we can see uh, how much army everyone has. All right, and they're off. So I'm just gonna let this kind of fast forward, and we'll stop at year 100 and see how they're doing. All right, and year 100. So we'll see how all our uh, contenders are doing. Looks like Monkey D. Luffy, number one, with 634, uh, followed by Shrek at 560, Zuko at 517, and then it looks like Homer, Finn and Jake, Jack Sparrow are all kind of floating around the same number. And then so far in last place is Sonic the Hedgehog with uh, 280 population. And then we'll take a look at the technology so far. Uh, so it looks like Jack Sparrow is actually number one with level 21. So we'll see, yeah, it looks like they have silver already. Um, they got hammers, spears and swords. Um, they have boats, house tier four. Uh, so they'll get their population up a lot quicker. And then we'll just take a look at a few of these. Finn and Jake um, don't have any better materials, but they do have pretty good housing. House tier five, um, axes, spears, swords. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi also has good materials up to silver um, in house tier five. You also notice that I kind of littered this map with just like a bajillion resources. So pretty much for any empire, they're gonna be able to make like as many weapons as they want. You can already see they're arming their citizens uh, pretty quickly. I feel like we don't usually see like a lot of stone weapons. Um, in only year 100, so I think it's working, at least I hope. And then we'll go ahead and fast forward again to year 250. All right, and year 250. So the map has surprisingly filled up completely. Uh, so there's no more uh, space for any of these empires to expand. And Monkey D. Luffy continues to be in the lead, but Homer Simpson is like not that far behind them. And there were even some points in while we were fast forwarding that Homer Simpson did pass up Monkey D. Luffy. So it still could happen. And then Sonic the Hedgehog, unfortunately just got super bamboozled because they got stuck in this one little area. Hopefully they can make some good allies when year 1000 rolls around because otherwise Otherwise, they're gonna die terribly. And then followed by Homer Simpson, I believe is Shrek with 2100. And then it looks like Obi-Wan, Zuko, Jack Sparrow, and Squidward are all kind of around the same. Um, followed by Denji and Finn and Jake. Uh, which are around the same population. And then as far as technology goes, I wouldn't be surprised if they're all maxed out uh, or at least close. So it looks like, yeah, they are at least close to being maxed out. Uh, I think Monkey D. Luffy has just a couple levels to go. So Monkey D. Luffy, obviously number one as far as technology goes. They're up to steel. They did end up developing bows and they have army training three. So they have... Uh, a ton of army. Um, then Zuko, I guess, is number two. They've got silver. Um, they've got all the different kinds of weapons. Army training two. So yeah, I think uh, definitely by year 500, our next stopping point, I think they'll all be maxed out. I do love how Finn and Jake like just skipped over this colony to go build their own colony. Like they literally walked through Shrek's land and then took like all this land that they would have claimed from them. And then I guess Shrek kind of did the same thing because they went through Finn and Jake's colonies to go like claim these ones. All right, we'll go ahead and fast forward again uh, to year 500. All 
year 500, and looks like the populations have kind of capped out for a lot of empires. Um, Monkey D. Luffy has been just below 3,000 like this entire time, um, which is kind of nice because it kind of gave the smaller empires like Shrek, um, Jack Sparrow, and Zuko like chance to kind of catch up. Like they're not really that behind. Um, and Denji as well. Um, even like Sonic's doing a little bit better at 1,600 as opposed to like whatever 800 they were last time. So I don't know. I think the playing field's getting a little bit more even evened out and then I want to go and see what the armies are looking like so yeah I'm definitely seeing a lot of um, better weapons I see a lot of steel and iron uh yeah I don't see too much adamantine I don't know if they've advanced that far yeah like look at this army it's like almost all steel or silver it's gonna be super cool to watch once they actually start battling and I want to see if anyone's advanced to adamantine yet so everyone's level 63 um, everyone's max. Jack Sparrow, I guess. Oh yeah, they did advance to Adamantine. And Finn and Jake as well. I assume all of them did. So at this point, like the populations are maxed out. So I think the next 500 years are going to be more about just equipping their armies with better weapons. Um, a lot of the armies already are looking pretty good, but they could definitely use some more adamantine stuff. I didn't really see like any adamantine. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rain a bunch of adamantine on the map. This might fall and kill some people, but to be honest, I don't really care. Yeah, I, my goal really is just I want the armies to be like as advanced as possible. I don't think we've ever played this game with like max level armies and I really just want to see what that would look like. All right, next stop year 1000. And we just reached year 1000. All right, so we'll go ahead and enable diplomacy and angry villagers, and we'll see how this goes. You can see the populations like didn't increase at all in the past like 500 years, but I assume the armies got better and that seems to be true. There's not quite as much adamantine that I was hoping, but they definitely do have quite a lot. Yeah, and they have a lot of armor too, which is awesome. This guy's got like an adamantine axe and mithril helmet and boots. We don't usually see armor too much. And this guy's got adamantine boots, uh, helmet and sword. So there's definitely adamantine out there. I just had like a false hope that literally everyone would have adamantine somehow. But you know what? The wars are still going to be super fun to watch. Okay, we just got our first war because we got Monkey D. Luffy against Squidward. Okay, then Zuko just declared war on Shrek. Shrek or Squidward is just going to get steamrolled by Monkey. Yeah, let's see what the army difference is between Monkey and Squidward. So they got like 1,700. Squidward's got like 1,300, so that's not too bad. And you got uh, Squidward's army coming up to meet Monkey's army. Yeah, I don't see a ton of adamantine, but I do see a lot of uh, mithril and steel um, and some iron in there too. Oh, there are there is some adamantine. I see a couple guys. This guy's got a sword. And it seems like monkeys pulling ahead in this fight. It looks like it's like 25 versus 10 right now, and they have another huge army coming down. So they'll probably end up taking this colony. And then Jack Sparrow just declared war on Finn and Jake. Oh, and Denji. Poor Finn and J Jake. It's because they won last time. I think everyone's just taking revenge on them. But yeah, their numbers are dropping so quick. And then this colony, I think, is getting under attack by Denji. And that is starting to get captured as well. Yeah, rip. They're completely out of the middle. Uh, so now Denji's just flooding into their base. And then you got Shrek against Zuko, which seems to be a pretty even fight. See how much army they have. Um, Shrek has like 850. Oh, Zuko only has like 500. So I guess they've lost a lot of army already. I think they tried to launch like an offensive attack, but it seems like it's failing. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi and Homer, did they end up allying? Okay, I guess they didn't. Uh, so Homer is going to declare war on someone. It's probably just going to end up being like the worst or the weakest empire because uh, the AI in this game is just completely ruthless sometimes. Okay, Squidward's kind of holding the line. They're actually taking one of Monkey's colonies, but they're also losing a colony too, so... Maybe it's not a good uh, trade-off. Oh, and they're even launching a little counter-attack as well. And about to take one colony. That's actually pretty smart. I think most of Monkey's army is kind of distracted down here. So it seems like they 
have been able to easily take some of these colonies. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. Sonic just declared war on Squidward. Oh, crap. Yeah, so now they're killing all their armies up here as well. I mean, listen, it feels bad to sacrifice Squidward like this, but it might actually give Sonic a chance to kind of redeem themselves. Because Squidward's kind of an easy target right now, so maybe they can get some colonies and uh, hopefully get their population up. And then you also got Homer just declared war on Zuko. So yeah, so now Zuko's at war with two empires that are bigger than they are. Okay, and then Jack Sparrow just continues to demolish Finn and Jake. Yeah, there's another one down and a couple others are getting captured right now. Poor Finn and Jake. I think this is the only army they have. Just this one guy. And she literally like doesn't have any armor. She's just got a bow. Um, but it's a pretty good bow though. Okay, Finn and Jake are just down to a few colonies left. I think they're probably gonna get destroyed pretty quick and i'm curious to see how things are going for zuko yeah so right now they only have 60 army and i think these colonies have been really easy to take for homer look at just this huge line of guys how many okay it's 158 that's a huge army they're not even fighting anyone they're just like raining arrows upon them there's another one down zuko down to 700 population meanwhile shrek has taken these uh southern colonies okay finn and jake down to their last colony i think think it's going to get taken over by Denji. All right. Yep. Finn and Jake were just destroyed. So they're officially out. Okay. This war up here is actually going really well for Sonic. Um, I was worried that Monkey would take all of Squidward's colonies, but Sonic's actually claiming a lot of land. Um, Squidward's just down to one last colony left. Yeah. We'll see if Monkey or uh, Sonic get to it first. And it seems to be Sonic. Uh, yep. They're capturing it. Okay. And Squidward is the second one out. Yeah. So Sonic is up to 2,400 now. And then Zuko also got out. Uh, I feel bad we didn't watch that, but oh well. Think we're getting some alliances. Um, Denji and Obi Wan. Oh, and Sonic might be trying to put something together. Oh yeah, a lot of empires I think joined that. So the Legion of Supreme. This is between Obi Wan. Monkey D. Luffy, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Shrek. So we have what, seven empires left? And there's only, f and there's four of them in an alliance? Well, it's good Obi-Wan Kenobi's in the alliance because uh, right now they're kind of the worst empire. Okay, let's go ahead and name this alliance actually, just so we kind of keep track of who's in it. Because you guys know my, my memory is just terrible. Okay, Jack Sparrow just declared war on Denji. And it looks like the big alliance is, is going after someone too. Uh, it's probably going to be Denji, unfortunately. Okay, you got some of Denji's armies attacking Jack's kind of middle colonies. And then you have Jack attacking these uh, Western colonies. And yep, the big alliance just declared war on Denji. And my guess is Homer Simpson is probably gonna declare war on them as well. Oh, they actually declared war on Jack Sparrow. That's, that's very surprising. Oh man, you got all of their armies all attacking the same spot. That is not good. Um, I'm a little worried Monkey's just gonna take all these colonies. Yep, they're taking another one. And then you got Sonic attacking from over here in the east. So we'll see. It seems like Denji's kind of holding the line here. Um, and Sonic doesn't really have that much army. So they should be able to hold them off there at least. Uh, though I don't think they're going to be able to hold off all these armies. Oh yeah, and you got uh, Jack Sparrow and Shrek attacking from the south as well. Oh, I forgot about Obi-Wan Kenobi um, and how they're trying to attack Denji as well. Though I don't even know if their army's going to make it there in time before Denji gets destroyed. And Homer's population hasn't really gone up that much, but I know they've pushed Jack Sparrow out of some of their colonies. Um, Cause Jack Sparrow had a lot of these middle colonies. Um, and I think they kind of are continuing their conquest over there as well as over here. Uh, I don't think Jack Sparrow has any army in this uh, colony over here. So probably gonna get taken over pretty quick. Oh rip Denji, yeah this is literally five different empires armies all attacking them at the same time yeah this is insane okay one colony left all right so denji is officially out and i think the only war going on right now is between uh homer simpson Orange. and jack sparrow oh and i think that big alliance is breaking up okay yep the entire alliance was just dissolved um so it's just back to free for all again oh uh-oh monkey and homer simpson and shrek and homer simpson everyone just randomly decided to turn on homer well i mean this might be the thing that saves jack sparrow if everyone's going against Homer. All right, yep, you got Homer's population dropping super quick. Monkey D. Luffy's kind of sending everything they have. Yeah, they're definitely getting pushed back. I don't think they can hold both of them off because uh, even Jack is making some good pushes. So another colony down. Oh, yep, okay, Obi-Wan just declared war on them as well. So currently they're at war with everybody in the entire world, except for Sonic. Good job, Sonic. Okay, Homer's down to 700, just like two colonies left, maybe three. And I think this is it. Obi-Wan's armies are heading down. I guess that's good. I'm happy that Obi-Wan 
um, has been able to get some land out of this. Yeah, last colony, and that's down. So that's another... Oh, wait, they're still alive. Who is this? Shrek? I think this is all Shrek's army. And maybe a little bit of Jack Sparrow. And yep, that's it. Okay, Homer Simpson is out. So that leaves us with five empires left. All right, we got another alliance between Obi-Wan and Shrek. This title kind of just makes me think that they're like a couple or something. Between them two, they have 8,000 population. So they could rival Monkey. And I guess Jack just joined that alliance. Uh, so this is awkward. Monkey, what are you doing? <laughs> you stupid idiot. Crap, that is not good for Monkey at all. They're, they're gonna get absolutely destroyed. There's no way. They have half the amount of population that this uh, alliance has and yep sonic just went to war with them as well big surprise and looks like they're about to get pushed out of the southeast here you got a lot of sonic's armies yeah i think this is gonna be a pretty easy colony for sonic to take and there we go they've been pushed out of there uh middle colony just got destroyed so it's just these colonies up here it's funny they just have so much army between them that they're just straight up destroying all of monkey's colonies yeah just look at all these colonies that straight up just got destroyed okay monkey just dropped below a thousand sonic is attacking from the east and obi and shrek are attacking from the west they might be able to reclaim this one no maybe not last uh two colonies and they both might be falling to sonic okay that's one down and two down so monkey's officially out. Never mind. It happened again. Uh, okay, now they're out. And Shrek is breaking free from the treaty. So sad. They're not together anymore. But a new treaty was founded, this time between Jack Sparrow and uh, Obi-Wan. Um, and they have about 9,000 population. And you got Shrek versus Sonic. They're gonna, they're just gonna fight in the middle of Jack Sparrow's uh, cities. Oh, we just got Jack versus Shrek as well. Man, so that's literally the entire world is against Shrek right now. All right, Shrek has gotten super pushed back. They're now to like 750 population. Oh, they're uh, they're still trying to like push a little bit, but what's the point? Yeah, it seems to me like Jack Sparrow's kind of been the one uh, that's benefited the most from this war. Like most of Shrek's colonies ended up falling to them. And there we go. Okay, Shrek is out and we're down to just three empires left. Jack just broke three from their alliance. Um, big surprise. Well, at this point, I you know, I think we're pretty sure Jack's gonna win. So I wanna give Obi and Sonic the best chances they can. So let's make it so Obi-Wan and Sonic uh, can team up against Jack. So we'll go ahead and spite them and uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, let's see, Sonic has about 2,500 army. That's really good. Obi's got about 1,700 and Jack Sparrow's got like almost 6,000 and what, 13,000 population now? Yeah, I think their first order of business seems to be kind of getting rid of these colonies that are like in the middle of their base and Sonic's making a not too bad of a push here um, they just took a city over Obi-Wan as well might be taking something though I don't know how long this is gonna last yeah Obi is slowly getting pushed to their sad little corner and then Sonic's armies I think are starting to get pretty exhausted okay Obi-Wan's down to 1200 Sonic's down to 26 I'm really surprised how long they've been able to hold Sonic and Obi are on their last legs Obi-Wan down to 300 sonic down to like 800 yeah i think obi-wan's gonna be the first one to go um jack's armies are just arriving and both colonies are starting to get captured there they go okay obi-wan's officially out and that just leaves sonic oh mama mia so much army yeah literally the entirety of jack's army is all flooding into sonic and this might be their last colony and they have one more. Okay, yeah, that's it. So Sonic is out and Jack Sparrow officially wins, ending with 18,500 population and 8,000 army. And total deaths after a 1,162 years was 97,000. 